Greetings, hi, the War Owl greets you. This time we're going to be going over defensive smokes on B-side Inferno. In a previous video, I showed some of the offensive smokes, flashes, and Molotovs that you can throw. This time, let's go over the defense. The passageway to bombsite B on Inferno is one long hallway. It's called Banana, because it looks like one. It makes it easier to Molotov, smoke, nade, and flash, as a single smoke can block off the entire passageway. Terrorists who aren't fall down stupid will avoid just running up banana to their doom. This creates a delay scenario where counter-terrorists are simply trying to run out the clock for as long as possible, eventually forcing the terrorists to push. So the question becomes, where along banana do you set up your defense, and how many CTs do you keep there? There are two main ways to set this up. The first is to play from the bomb site and give banana control to the terrorists, smoking off the entrance to the site and forcing an engagement around the porch. This is fairly easy to accomplish, but it does sort of give map control to the terrorists. Simply throw a smoke down in the entranceway when you think the terrorists are near and keep re-smoking it when it fades. Also, when you think the terrorists are pushing, throw a Molotov down on the other side of the smoke so they run out of the smoke and into their fiery death. Using this setup, it makes sense to keep two players watching B, normally one from inside of the site and another in a position to rotate back to A quickly if the T's start to take A site. This setup is fairly standard and it's easy to accomplish, and even if you try to take banana control early on and you get pushed back, you can go into this setup from any other setup. If the two players at B don't have any smokes to re-smoke it, the archway player can throw it over the wall. Simply walk into the wall in this area near the corner of archway. Aim at the second wooden thingy, and move up until your crosshair is below the corner of the bell tower overhang. When holding off B from the site, you can do some nade stacks on banana if you think the enemy is waiting there, or if you think they're gonna start to try to push banana. Here's a fun one. From new box, you can do a running nade throw. It should land at the very entrance of banana. The next way to hold off banana is to actually work on taking banana control. Doing so is a risk-reward scenario, but some clever smokes can help curtail the risks. The first method of doing so is kind of a hybrid of holding B and holding banana. I call it the King Smoke, because the ninjas in pajamas at the time of making this video is using this as their standard banana hold-off, relying on Freiburg, whose name is the King of Banana. The smoke gives control of car and sandbags to the CTs, but the rest of banana to the Ts. Here's how to throw it from CT spawn. Jump onto the concrete curve of the gardeny area and walk forward until the thing that used to be a cross but is now inexplicably barren touches the overhang of the bell tower. Then aim at the very center of the rectangly thingy and throw. Yes, the smoke goes right through the rectangly thingy. The next smoke position is at the very bottom of banana. This is used if CTs want to take full banana control. It's far more risky but gives a big reward in that the CTs only have to use a single player to hold off Banana, because if that player goes down or if he has to fall back, he can call a rotate and the CTs playing over at A can come over and help at Banana as they eventually try to move into the site. So yeah, you only have to have one player there, that opens up four players to move over at A. You could also think about doing this if a player on your team gets picked and you have to work with four players versus five. There's just so many different reasons to, to do this. The other reason is that if the terrorists eventually decide to take bombsite A, you can actually push in from behind them because you're already at the bottom of banana. To throw the smoke from spawn, which you're gonna have to do if you wanna get it there before the T's get there and sort of try to prevent them from pushing through it, jump onto the curb garden-y position thingy we talked about before, stand in the middle of it, aim at the right side of the pipe. You gotta be just like a little bit right of the pipe. Move up until your crosshair is at the red part of the bell tower, then do a running throw. To throw it from the arch side, stand in the bush, then move to the side a bit so you can see through. Aim up at the side of the bell, yes that thing is the bell, and throw. These smokes don't have to be precise and there are many ways to do them. These are just the ways I find easiest to remember and execute quickly from a safe position. From here, T's can work on taking full banana control and re-smoking when necessary. Thank you folks very much for watching, I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer.